Did I? No. I always have a heart attack walking to the front door. Oh, I didn't know that. You should probably get that checked out. Bye, Keith. Wait, Curtis! What? I just wanted to know if you wanted to help me out with a few chores. Chores? Yeah, I volunteered to help Mom and Dad out around the house and they gave me a few chores to do. How much money are you trying to get out of Mom and Dad? No, and I volunteered out the kindness of my heart. How much? A hundred dollars. A hundred dollars? You really think you're going to get a hundred dollars out of our parents? Yes, I do, Curtis. Yes, I do. Why? Well, I want the new Xbox. I have most of the money saved up, and Mom and Dad said they'd help me with the rest. Give you the rest. Thank you, Curtis. If I complete a list of chores. And I fit into this how? Because I figured that with your help... You'll get to lounge around while I do all the work. Yeah. I mean, no. 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 You had it right the first time. So you're gonna help me? No. Curtis! Keith, it's the weekend. Okay, I have plans, okay, okay, and... Curtis, Curtis, come here. You really like Teresa Baxter, right? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> In fact, you're on your way to her house right now, right? As soon as this ridiculous conversation ends. And correct me if I'm wrong. Which you probably are. But Teresa does have expensive taste, doesn't she? Yeah, I guess so. Well, what if I split the money I get from Mom and Dad with you? Then you take that money and buy Teresa some really nice gifts. And, you know, Curtis, just think of how, how, how generous Teresa might be upon receiving such gifts. <gasps> For me? Money is no object when it comes to my girl. Oh, Curtis. Let's go inside. There's something I want to give to you, too. Surprise! Ah! I bet you weren't expecting me, huh, Curtis? 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 You good? Uh, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'm good. What do I have to do? I know, Teresa, I know I said I would be right over there, but I had to help my brother with some chores. No more than 20 minutes, I promise. Come on. <sighs> I'll call you back, Teresa. Almost. Keith, what are you doing? <laughs> wow, that bag is really heavy, huh, Curtis? Curtis! Curtis! Oh, oh, Curtis! Are you alright? I should probably get that huge bag off your face, huh, Curtis? Are you okay, Curtis? Considering that I was almost suffocated by a trash bag, I'm great. Oh, good. That was a close one. <laughs> oh! Sorry. Keith, I'm going to... Curtis, you should really get up before your clothes get dirty. Keith, what are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm taking out the trash. So, are you going to hop in the bag now or later? Ha ha, very funny. Keith, the bag is going to rip if you keep dragging it like that. <sighs> I'll help you. Well, thank you, Curtis. No need to thank me. I just don't want any more of your disasters happening today. That's not 
fair. None of the things that happened today were my fault. Sure. They weren't. Especially if you're referring to that little incident that happened in the living room. Ah, uh, yes, the living room incident. Where I learned with your special brand of help that water and electrical appliances do not mix. That wasn't my fault. There was a stain on the floor. That you put there. There was a stain on the floor. And I filled the bucket with water while you got out the vacuum cleaner and, well, I didn't know I would accidentally spill the water on you while you were trying to put the vacuum cord into the socket. I didn't know. Besides, you know, Curtis, you were only electrocuted for a few seconds and- Back up on my face. Back up. What's wrong? Does my breath stink? I brushed my teeth. I even flossed. See? <sighs> Will you stop breathing in my face? Oh, oh. Oh, Curtis, I think it's your breath, actually. Keith. Oh. Did you eat something with a lot of garlic in it? Let's. I have mints. Let's. Gum. Let's. Travel size mouthwash. Get this over with. Okay, okay. On three. One, two, three. <sighs> Uh, Curtis? What? Can we switch sides? No. But, but my side of the bag is really heavy. That's because the bag is really heavy. Now stop wasting time and- But Curtis, I think your side might be a little lighter. And besides, you know, you're stronger than I am. And, oh, I probably should have let you know before I dropped the bag, huh? You think? <laughs> Sorry. On three, again. Wait, we didn't switch sides. And we're not going to, Keith. It's only a few feet to the trash can. <sighs> okay. One, two, three. All right, let's... Oh, wait a minute. I just realized we didn't need to carry that heavy bag. We could have just rolled the trash can over to us. Look at us making something so simple, so difficult. <laughs> <sighs> Okay, lift the bag and put the trash into the trash can. Quick question. If I keep falling to the ground every time you drop your end of the bag, what makes you think I can lift it on my own? Oh. Ew. One, two, never mind. Just pick up the bag. <sighs> oh, Curtis, you cuss. Yeah, I did. And you know what else? You can take this trash bag and shove it up your ass. Is that your phone? Yeah, it's probably Teresa. I placed my phone down over by the pool to come help you. I'll just call her back. Oh, you don't have to do that. It's right over there. I'll get it. Hey, man, no! Are you wet? What do you think? Well, at least there aren't any electrical appliances around this time. <laughs> oh, and your phone didn't get wet. See? I, oh. That's waterproof, right? Hey, Teresa. Yeah, I, I, I'm calling you from my brother's phone. My cell phone is a bit waterlogged at the moment. It's, it's a long story. We can go grab a bite to eat when I get finished. My treat, anything from the dollar menu. I'm just kidding, babe. You know I got you for a combo. Small. Okay, okay, medium. Jeez. Keith Richards, Agent 007, on his most dangerous mission yet. Will he make it out safely or be captured by Dr. X and his henchmen? <gasps> You'll never get me, you, you, you bad guys! Okay, see you soon, babe. Bye. Okay, Keith, let's get this over with. Keith? Keith, where are you? Take that! And that! And that! Oh no, they got me cornered! I'm not going down without a fight! Keith, what are you- Oh, Curtis, I'm sorry! I was just... Just... Uh... I got the hose so we could wash the car. <laughs> oh, Curtis, I didn't mean to spray you again! Uh... That time either. <sighs> I 
Aren't you gonna change? You'll just find a way to get me wet again. Oh, Curtis, don't be silly. Uh, I'll wash the outside of the car and you clean the inside. Think about the money, Curtis. Think about the money. The door locks on that old car are always jamming up. Do you want me to help you open it? No. So, Curtis, what are you going to do with your share of the money? I'm going to take Teresa out. Oh, that sounds like fun. Where are y'all going? I'll probably take... <laughs> Will you watch out? You're getting water in the car. But I'm trying to get the top of the car covered with soap. <sighs> anyway, to answer your question, I don't know. I'll probably take her to a nice restaurant and then shopping at the mall. Oh, so McDonald's and Five Below. Hmm. Is your share going to be enough to cover all of that? Are you offering to give me your share? No, hadn't planned on it, no. Then it's going to be enough. I just asked because you always seem to date girls that want you to buy them stuff. Yeah. They always seem to want more. Mm-hmm. And more. Uh-huh. And more. Keith, will you please stop worrying about my love life and focus on washing the car? You're getting water in the car again. I'm just trying to get the soap off the car. Close the door. It's 80 degrees out here. Besides, you know how the doors on this old car get jammed? I'm not getting stuck in here for half the day. Uh-oh. What now? I think I broke the valve on the hose. Of course you did. I can't stop the water. Of course you can't. What are we going to do? Of course you will. Well, what? Be responsible for the impending disaster that's soon to occur. Ha, ha, ha. Will you please help me, Curtis? That's Teresa calling back. Go get the phone and tell Teresa I'll call her back in five minutes. If the call is for you, why should I get it? I'm busy. I'm busy too. I'm trying to fix the... The holes that you broke. Oh, yeah. <laughs> At least you can't cause any disasters from over there. But the holes... We needed to rinse off the car anyway. Just put it down and we'll figure out how to fix it later. Alrighty. I'll just put the holes up here. That way, the water can continue to wash the car and we aren't wasting anything. Wonderful. <sighs> Water is still getting in the car, Keith. Jeez, just close the door, Curtis. <gasps> Keith, Keith! What's wrong, Curtis? I know it's a little hot in there, but I know it's not that bad. Open the door! Wait, why is there water pouring into the car? You closed the door on the hose! What? You mean I closed the... Yeah! And now the water? Yeah! And you can't? Yeah! What should I do? Get me out of here! But didn't you want me to go get the phone? Open the door! <laughs> it won't open, Curtis! What do I do? Wait, I know! I'll be right back! You stay right there, Curtis! Where am I going, Keith? Where am I going? Look, Curtis, I got the fire poker out of the house. I'm going to use the spiky end to pry the door open. Hurry up. Okay, okay. You know, Curtis, Dad really needs to stop being so cheap and get the door fixed. I mean, what would you have done if I weren't here to open the door? Well, I mean, I haven't opened it yet, but I will eventually. <laughs> Then again, you probably wouldn't be in this predicament if it weren't for me. There is that. But you know, Curtis, that's beside the point because... Wow, Curtis, if I didn't know any better, I would think you were saying words that you shouldn't be saying. Okay, okay, calm down, jeez. Are you okay? Are you okay? Speak to me, Curtis! Speak to me! <coughs> I knew you would find a way to get me wet again. Yeah. <sighs>
Let me guess, it's the last thing on the list. It's the last thing on the list we haven't completed yet. Well, you can have fun doing this one by yourself. I refuse. Why? Because it's been one disaster after another today. I'm tired of being battered, bruised, drenched, electrocuted, and or nearly killed thanks to your stupidity. Oh, come on. Today hasn't been that bad. You keep telling yourself that. I gotta go. Well, can you at least help me start the more? You know how difficult this thing can be to start. Please? Get on the mower. Thank you, Curtis. I think you connect one of the loose wires to the spark plug while shifting the levers and turning the key at the same time. Yeah, something like that. Why does Dad still have this thing? Because he's cheap. True. Okay, I want you to shift the levers and start the mower while I connect the wires. Okay. Ready? One, two... Wait, Curtis! What? I'm scared! Of what? Of it blowing up! You know how this thing is always backfiring and smoking when you start it! Well, why did you agree to do this then? Because Dad wouldn't agree to give me the money unless I cut the grass. He probably figured you were too scared to fool with this thing, which means he wouldn't have to give you the money. He's cheap, but smart. Well, he's wrong. He's wrong. Go ahead, Curtis. Start the more. Okay. On three. One, two... Wait! What now? Uh, uh, can, can I connect the wires? Can I do that? No. Why not? Because I'm not going to be on this thing when it blows up. What? Calm down. I'm just kidding. It's it's not going to explode. It's not even going to backfire. Uh, okay. On three. One, two, three. What's wrong with this thing? I know we did everything right. Maybe it's a delayed reaction, and when we're least expecting it, it's going to explode. Keith, it's not going to explode. Are you sure? Uh, yeah, I'm sure. Get off of the mower for a sec. Let me see. Keith, you have the levers in the wrong position. The levers have to be set in a certain position for it to start. I know, I did that. No, you didn't, Keith. This lever has to be down. You have it up. And this lever is supposed to be up, but you have it down. No, Curtis, you have it backwards. That lever has to be down when you start the mower. You move it up after you start it. No, you're wrong. Move back. I'll fix it. But, Curtis... Move. But... Move! I know how this can be settled. How? You put the lever in whatever position you think they should be in, and I'll connect the wire. If it starts, you were right. But if it doesn't, I was right. Deal. Uh, which wire is it? Uh, that one. On three. One, two, three. You see, Keith? I was right! Curtis! Curtis! Ah! 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 Uh, I don't like this round. I would like to get off now, please. Carmichael's across the street are painting their house. Well, look at it this way. At least you didn't get wet again. Oh, wow. This tree that I've never seen before is completely sheltering me from the rain. And meanwhile, you're getting drenched. That's too bad. Huh, Curtis? Keith, I'm... Oh, that's my phone. Hold that thought. Oh, it's Teresa. She's calling via face chat. Hi, Teresa. Hi. I... Uh-huh. 
Uh-huh. Well, I can tell him, Teresa, but he's right here and... Oh, yeah, I would love that. Okay, bye. Guess what, Curtis? Teresa's little sister just got the new Xbox, and they've invited me over to play. Hey, I guess that means I have a date with your girlfriend, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah, that reminds me. Teresa said you kept her waiting all day. She never wants to see you again and lose her number forever. Yeah, I think that was everything. Oh, look, it stopped raining. <laughs> And the tree that was sheltering me from the rain is gone as well. Hmm, that's strange. Oh well. Bye, Curtis! You saw this coming a mile away, didn't you?